What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John 74 here to bring us more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and also more DLC map gameplays. Today's gameplay will be taking place in the map called Urban. Now, before we get into more details about this gameplay, guys, I would like to talk about the map Urban. I think the map looks quite similar to another map that I have played before back in Black Ops 1 and also in Black Ops 2, and I'm pretty sure you're about to guess what map I'm about to talk about. I believe Urban is quite similar to freaking Nuketown. It is the same thing, except there's no buzzes in the middle and in one side there's a staircase and the other side is pretty much under the road. So, yeah, that's the only difference that there is. There's no buzzes in the middle and the, each side is like elevated higher or lower. And that's pretty cool. I think this is a lot better than the freaking original Nuketowns. Because in Nuketown, you know, you have like freaking small ass passages and everybody can just chain kill you right there just to get a feed and shit and it just pisses me the hell off and it's a pretty super small map compared to this one. Yes, it is the smallest map in the game, but it also is a little bit spacious, more spacious than Nuketown. So I like this map. It's pretty much chaotic. I know where to go most of the time. And um, I know what to expect in every corner that pretty much gives me the every single kill streak. I do have more games about this map, but I don't want to show them off because I know it's going to be super repetitive. So um, it's because I use the same weapon and I use the same kill streaks. It looks pretty much repeated over and over again. I did like at least more than five times where I went over 25 kills and with at least amount of deaths. And by the way, in this gameplay, I went like around 25 kills and four deaths. So. Um, you can already tell what to expect in the other gameplays where I went like 25 kills and 6 deaths or so. So, um, yeah, I did super good in this map and I like it. I like this freaking map. I recommend buying the DLC Havoc um, set and you should be able to play on this map and it's pretty awesome. It's cool. So, um, I recommend the DLC overall because this is one map. There's this one map that looks a lot like a Destiny map. But it's super big though. It's really, I don't recommend it for a 6v6 match. I recommend it more like a ground war match. Because it's just super large for a TDM. And um, what's another map? Another map will be the Snowy Stage. That one's kind of okay. Multiple pa multiple path and a lot of levels and shit. But um, it's it's okay. It's an okay map. I give that map like at least a 6 out of 10. This one I give it like an 8 out of 10. It is a cool map. So, yeah, I recommend it. It looks super similar to freaking Nuketown. I'm telling you, two buildings on each side three pathways what else do you want it's actually the fourth pathways though but um it just depends how you use the fourth pathway because there's a lot of ways you can use that pathway you can just jump from the one side to another and you know you should be able to see this a few times in this gameplay so another thing that i want wanted to let you guys know is about the gameplay is that um i managed to pull a clutch apparently we were losing like by around five and I managed to pull a clutch by calling in my airstrike and killing at least two people. And then I ended up calling in my drones. And that's how we managed to do a comeback. If I have, if I wouldn't have called any of that, we would have lost. So, um, and by the way, I had a good record. And if we would have lost, I would have been like, ah, there goes another wasted opportunity, you know. So anyways, yeah, we ended up winning because um, I managed to call in all my kill streaks, And my freaking drone was killing everybody all over the goddamn place. And, and it's super awesome to use here in a freaking small map. Because, you know, I'm sh it's shooting out rockets. So it can easily find a target and just kill a bunch of them all together. So um, I did a good job calling that in. Look at that. Back to back kills with a freaking drone. And I'm like, good job, drone. That's a double kill right there. And um, I could have gone for the triple. But I didn't want to jump down because I didn't want to you know ruin my, my I didn't want to ruin the lead and um, I ended up jumping down and I got killed so yeah sweet irony I didn't want to jump out the window but I get killed like going downstairs so um, I don't know I'm not sure if that's irony <laughs> so anyways uh, if you guys enjoyed the gameplay leave a like in the comment section I mean not in the comment section leave a like on the goddamn video if you guys got any questions Make sure you leave it in the comment section and I'll answer them later. And also the best class setup for the AK will be coming out soon because this AK was super great in the TDM and the DLC maps. And I recommend using this gun. I mean, look at the precise aiming. Super accurate. I recommend it to use it if you guys are facing enemies in long distance areas because this gun apparently has the lowest recoil in the whole damn game. So... I'll make a best class setup later on. So that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty Events Warfare and also the DLC maps that come along with it. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more.